Hello, I am I'm Bugsy, and I'm on Sack a Lot to the Everlasting Maru. How, how are we all doing tonight? So, Bugsy and I, um, and the rest of the folks of the rest of the folks of the Big Three Box Network, we're gonna be on our old computer for a while because, like, legit, our uh, newest one, our recent one, is basically going to the shop pretty soon. So we're gonna be kind of we're gonna be kind of computer list for a bit, which is kind of going to be a little bit of a damper because we're just going to be able to do these simple videos. We can't do like the bigger ones, but me and Bugsy do want to play Jojo Golden Wind, but we need to really watch Jojo, we need to really watch some Jojo Golden Wind. Yeah, I mean, since we're not going to be doing any bigger projects other than you probably just writing your stuff. You know, pretty much, we could probably just, we could probably just knock that out right now. We could knock that out after this video. What do you say? Gonna watch, gonna, you wanna watch a little bit of the meme house while we're, while we're at it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, uh, are we still doing the, um, you know, the webcomic book? The Webtoons Book Club? Y you know, you haven't asked me about that. Because I didn't know we were doing it. You're pretty much busy with the other projects. I never, I never really, I never really get, we never really get to talk about it. And I like when we're, I like the fact that we're finally breaking the fourth wall while we're doing this. Because it's been a while since we both did this. I'm just saying, Bugsy, you know, like, I'm, just, I'm like, really, you never give me a bigger part in your video, you never give me, like, a, I'm not even the bigger part in the main storyline that you're doing. You are, you're gonna be in later, in Act 3, man. Oh, you get, you get a part. You get a part, TB's, like, the main character, and you and AF are kind of, like, supporting characters, but I'm just in, I looked at the script, I'm only in for, like, one thing. And probably like an introduction. Hey, but your introduction is gonna be cool. You actually wrote it. Well, yeah, I did. So did Har. So, yeah. I was meditating it. Yeah, I have my own. I'm basically an auto. I'm basically autonomous. So I don't really need my body. This is just kind of something I can do. So. I'm fine. Besides, I'm in my, I'm in, I'm in the boss's phone. Like Persona, like Persona Strikers. Yep, pretty much. Hmm. So, but other than that, like folks, we're just gonna be kind of. On a semi hiatus, Bugsy's still gonna be making videos. It's just not gonna have the set. Uh, it's not gonna have the set or anything because um, we loaded in the virtual room. Um, the games still work, but the videos themselves, you know, the movies we have stored in there, uh, actually are pretty like laggy, so we can't really do it. But you know. It was, you know, this whole that whole program was for Windows Ten, and we and this is, we're back down to Windows Seven. So it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of an adjustment period. But we shall return. Bugsy was just kind of chilling out, playing Pirate Adventure 2. Well, I love Pirate Adventure 2. Also, you know, I will be doing a... I will be doing... Well, I did a review on it, but I'm going to be doing... Whenever Pirate 3 comes out, which is happening, they said they're going to do it. Uh, hopefully... I mean, we'll, have the, we'll probably have the computer back by then. But by the time, 
uh, we'll have the computer back by then, and we'll be ready and willing. Oh, yeah. Um, Bugsy, what about New Genesis? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I had to be, um, I'm gonna be, um, freaking Fantasy Star Online 2, PSO 2. You know, the story mode, and we're gonna just go from there. Bugsy, you know all your rainbow keys probably on Sugbaru. I know. I know. I'm just gonna probably have to do a bunch of heavy duty grinding to do anything, so I'm good. Are you really? Uh, define good. I'm, you know, thinking about that, I'm a little bit angry. Uh, well, hey, it may be just like a, it may just be a week, man. Like, maybe we'll just get a, like a little clean, a little clean wipe, a little, a little bit of a clean wipe, and then boom, we get the computer back. We're back to our, own, we're back to our own shenanigans. Easy. I was like, I don't know how that happened. Like, I turn the computer on like I do every morning when I'm in the studio, and then like, boom, it just didn't turn on, didn't turn on loot. Well, I mean, like the, you know, some sometimes computers have their own problems. You know, it probably okay you know you're not letting anybody down oh we're doing this video just to kind of just to be kind of a comedic thing and just tell people what's up so we're good we're good you know i don't think you're letting anybody down people are, people are gonna be cool and if anybody in the comments don't understand that we're kind of dealing with this right now i'm going to do something do something that YouTube would never let me allow. YouTube would never allow it, me to do. So, no. You know, it's kind of funny that YouTube has censors. Like, think about that, guys. Me and Bugsy had to really watch what we say nowadays. Back in the day, you could you could drop an f bomb. You could say you could you could drop a bunch of f bombs whenever you want. You could say you could say this. You could say. You know, you could say, like, all the swear words in the world. Nowadays, like, freaking YouTube's like, no. You can't say that or we'll demonetize you. But, like, you know, we have this whole thing about, like, st like our content is really not for kids. Mostly for, like, you know, 18 and older folks. Like, ser like seriously. Like seriously, we don't we don't make stuff for the kiddies. We don't make kid content. People always say like, "Well, don't you guys like review cartoons and stuff?" That isn't kids content, and anybody who fucking says that, they're they're idiots. They're idiots because they they keep forgetting that people watch car you know like adults watch cartoons, and then they'll get you the all line that well the adults would like with like freaking mental problems and I'm like okay you're saying that people have problems watch cartoons because well I'm a well adjusted adult and plus no no Bugsy 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 remember that one time that um this one dude was looking at I think one of the Gundam statues and like Japan, and he was like, more, you know, more money could have been used to do other things. And I was, and me and you, when we saw that post together, I, okay, I was like, right, what I said was, uh, you know, Gundam is basically kind of honored over there because it's like their most, it's like one of the most popular, popular animes over there. Yeah, one of their most, one of their greatest. I mean, even Astro Boy has his own freaking. Even Astro Boy has his own little part in in Japan. His own little statue. Eh, it's just people like that that just don't understand why people watch anime. And for the people who don't watch anime, but you don't act like an you don't you don't act like an asshole about it. 
we we appreciate you. Because y'all because y'all proved to us like even though you may not like anime, but you've proven that you can at least be civil about it. Like everybody else, like everybody else, you either don't like anime and you're gonna act like an ass about it, or you do like anime and then you're gonna get really, really, really into uh, one anime and then everybody else got to jump on that and be the be the haters who hate the anime. Or you could be like, or you could be anime boss and freaking sit there and go like, I gotta talk about how much I hate Sword Art Online. It's like I I hate it. I'm like, dude, dude. Okay, whatever. You hate Sword Online. What else is new? Now, no, 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 Bugsy. The question we should be asking is: You hate Sword Online. You love this fandom. What else do you want? For fuck, but like, for fuck's sake, what do you? What else do you want? Just to piss off the. Just to piss off the SAO fans, while well, they always get pissed off. Well, everybody else pisses them off anyway, and freaking Mother's Basement just embellish things just to make Star Online look bad than it already was. Worse than it actually is. And it's like, who cares? The Zora Online fans don't give a shit of what you what you idiots have to say. They're gonna just enjoy the show no matter what any of you say. You're not shaking anybody. You're not doing anything. All you're doing is just making an exercise of fut- futility. Because they're they're not gonna care. You're not gonna get any reactions out of them. You're just trying to be a little idiot so you can so you can be like, oh, I pissed off the Sword Online fans. Oh, look at me. Oh, is my daddy proud of me yet? Is he proud? Is he proud? <laughs> That's like a verb. Yeah. I miss doing these types of videos. Me too. <laughs> but you gotta admit, that's how they act. Oh yeah, like, seriously, like, hanging on Zara Alliance like this grand crusade. <laughs> Dude, it's just an anime that people watch. All you freaking haters out there, it's like, y'all, don't you guys got anything else better to do than just sit around hating on Zora Online if people actually like the goddamn thing. <laughs> like, there's it being entitled to your own opinion and then there's just being disruptive for the sake of it. Ah, uh, you know what we should talk about? So, the game apologist. Ah, uh, yeah, him. We were watching his Metal Knuckles video he's like calling all the psychotic detractors that don't like Ian Flynn but it's like Okay, okay, listen to us. Listen listen to us on this. All of us have defined reasons why we don't like Ian Flynn, right? The, you know, the people who are fans of him don't understand that, and at least don't understand that people have their own opinions on certain people, things, and whatever. Personally, me and Bugsy have, me and Bugsy really don't truly like Ian Flynn for the various things that he's done. Watch the other videos to really understand that. But, like, you know, just freaking game apologists calling us all psychotic detractors and not actually hearing us out is even more stupid. But, oh, well, you know, we'll watch his videos, but, like, yeah. Yeah, like, Ian Flynn's kind of a fucking shit writer just because he did just because he gave you guys fan service that doesn't mean he's a great writer it just means he knows how to bait the hook for you guys I agree that's like I agree look at that that's exactly what he knows how to do he ain't even writing the main comic right now in IDW the freaking the chick who's the person who did um not murder me. Uh, was it Ghost of the Future? Yeah, something like that. And people were like, "Oh!" And I remember we were at we were looking at like the uh, Bone King podcast. It's like, well, I don't like her like writing because it's inappropriate. Oh, because she actually tries to be a little bit more serious. And yes, it can be a little funny in the earlier parts. 
But she at least tries to accomplish a story. I like to see any of you dudes. I like to see any of you guys do what we do. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, Lexi and I would be sitting here typing away and being like, oh, okay, okay. Now we gotta get some people to proofread this. All right, all right, all right. You know, that, like, that actually takes a lot of effort. While you guys are like, no, you. Like, let me see you. Let me see you write your own Sonic story, and let me see you write something that like can actually like have like captivate people. I'm not talking like Krenz compilations. And seriously, for the people who are like, that's cringe. If any of you still exist, the fact that you say you're the fact that you say you're that that person is cringe. That kind of shows that you're. You. It kind of shows. That you are basically, you feel secondhand embarrassment for that person. And that means you're uncomfortable in your own skin, which also means you're projecting on that person. Because even still, the people who make various videos that y'all think are cringe, they're trying, they at least bring, they, if, even if it is stupid, at least they're trying something. What are you guys doing with, what, what are you guys doing with your time of then commenting and going like, it's cringe. Damn, that's like, are you, you're, you're on fire, you're on fire tonight. Well, you know, um, I'm feeling a little bit, I got a little charged, if you know what I mean. Ah, that's like, come on, man. You're worse than scourge with that. <laughs> what, he doesn't remind you, even though he ain't your, like, blood, your, your kid by blood. He does kind of remind me of a certain, of a certain, of a certain dude that switches from his hand from being black to silver in like a matter of minutes. He does kind of remind me of that. Oh, shut up. No, 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 like, before X was your bodyguard, y'all, you and X would just be, you and X were back when she was, back when she, like, took the name, just still kept the name Scarlet. And you basically, like, you know, you basically say, you basically call X by their actual name, and you're just like, and like, when it's serious, you're like, Scarlet. And she just, like, snap, like, they snap to attention every time you say that. Atsukamaru. It's... You, you know why. Yeah, I know. Come on, man. I'm your therapist. Of course I know. But, you know. <laughs> you know, in a way, it pretty much shows how you're willing to still keep her around, even though you all ain't really romantically inclined anymore. Because you and Miss Enigma are a thing, and you you keep it, but you still keep X close enough. I mean, it's not like a leader. It's not like a lead X on. Oh, X knows. Trust me, I uh, have been doing therapy for her too. Really? Mm hmm. Honestly. Honestly, she's always been kind of bound to you simply because even though you will never, you will never truly, like, say it, she'll still kind of be there by your side. Even if it ain't in a romantic context, she'll be there. But that, I, I've said too much. Yeah, I know, on Sakamaru. I know, I know, I know. But you know, but you know, she is one cool. She is, 
X is still one awesome bodyguard no matter what. Is that is that a freaking blush I see from our <laughs> from the head honcho of this channel? Shit. I was like, well, could you please, please, please shut up. Alright, alright, I'm shutting up, I'm shutting up. But like, you know, I got a few other things that I want to talk about when we're still like sitting here. Oh yeah, go for it. So, emulation, so, you know, emulation's like one of the things on our channel that we migrated over to our website, right? Yeah. I think, you know, people say like, oh my god, emulation is wrong, but when you got like the disc for like all the stuff, it's like, okay, I'm just playing it on a digital format. I don't know, I, you know, like... You know, emulation to me is something special. Because if you got the right kind of emulation rig or even a PC rig, you can pretty much play anything. With the alt, with the computer, with the computer that's now going to be in the shop, we uh, had the ability to play a lot of games, and now we're back to this, which is all they can play like. Sega Genesis, maybe, maybe Dreamcast, but not really, yeah, yeah, I know. But, you know, doing these little videos that we're going to be doing for a while will be kind of fun. It would be like the old days. Before we had all the, the advancements and all the things, and it was all we, <clears throat> and we always knew how to do things, you know what I mean? Also, I've been meaning to talk to you about, you know, can we not talk about that here? I know what you, know what you, I know what you're about to say. So, can we not talk about that here? All right, all right, all right, all right. But like, seriously though. But seriously though, go back to your emulation talk. Well, I mean, to me. You know, mostly everything I ha mostly everything I emulate, I actually own. So you know, and you know, I feel like you know. But if people want to emulate in a different way, uh, I I ain't no I ain't gonna snitch with nobody. But like everything I got, I own. So you know. But you know, I mean, I like the Nvidia Shield because for what you what you can do with it uh, is pretty good. For what you need it for, you can play like PlayStation, like like Nintendo sixty four. You can you know you can get Redream, which Redream is like the best way. Redream's like the best way to play uh, Dreamcast games on like your Nvidia Shield. It's perfect, but the thing about the thing about it is, like, there's a bunch of there's like VMU things, and I literally have either a like um, when it happened, I wanted to play Shinmu, right? Uh, yeah, I wanted to play Shinmu, and like the freaking virtual VMU is like no, it's just full. I'm like, how is it full? I mean, Bugsy, it's still a VMU, even if it is virtual. Yeah, but I'm still wondering, how is it, like, full? Like, yeah, but it still has limits, Bugsy. It's not like, you know, like an endless supply of stuff. I mean, it runs out eventually. <clears throat> but I was thinking, like, um, when we, like, since this is kind of dying, since the pandemic is kind of dying down, do you think we'll uh, go back to quite the more Dreamcast games? Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what was the plan? I was actually gonna kind of like play C Man, and we're still gonna probably do that. Um, but the thing about it is, 
Um, I'm gonna have to like I want to render it. I want to like probably put like the roundabout way of doing it is either I'm gonna have to go to Dropbox and like save the little you know a little video footage, and then I was thinking like we could do like a nature documentary. What you mean, the sea man is in its natural habitat, a motherfucking tank. We. We are the we are the chaos battles, chroniclers of the, chroniclers of the seaman, and also the 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 um what is it the successors of John Paul Gasset's research? Yeah. See the seaman. Yes. The seamen to suck each other's blood to be the most dominant one. It's horrible, but it is nature. See, that, that's what I want us to do. Like, make it like a nature documentary. You know, it, the, you know because we, we know what we're talking about. But you know what else? Um, that would be great. Um, what else? I think the one thing... I think... The one thing we probably can't get away with is probably, you know, crazy taxi because, you know, now they're, now YouTube's like, we're going to check your stuff for copyright material and then like, you know, crazy taxi. You know, I'm thinking it's just, when we get the computer back, I was thinking we just do crazy taxi on the, uh, we just do crazy taxi on the on our website because that way um you know yeah. because then we could just <clears throat> you know I'm thinking of throwing up a new disclaimer for both the big three TV and also nightlife because nightlife needs a disclaimer I don't want no I don't want no people jumping I don't want no under I don't want no I don't want no children going into the big three box studios no, our freaking website, and they find something a little bit more, um, a little bit more of what they bargained for, and so you know, I want like an actual disclaimer so people know that we about to talk about, we about to talk about some very, some very graphic stuff. Not gore, mind you, but you know, the kind of stuff that we do. Oh, speaking of which. Is that Monster Girl game done yet? Nope. What about the other one? Nope. And so yeah, we're just gonna be pumping out Legion of Larry when we go, when we get back. When we get the computer back. You know, it'd be great if we can get that. <laughs> eh, but don't worry, on second murder we still get we still because of my external, we still got most of st we still got most of our files. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. It's very good, actually. <clears throat> but you know, and uh, like guys, Bugsy was having a little mini like not not like a little mini panic attack, and me and like me and Har had to like come in and like chill him out because like <clears throat> that computer that computer was like you know that was doing our all of our jobs even faster and you know Bugsy loved the thing so right now it's just like ew. right now it's just like ew, we're back on this but me and but me and Bugsy are feeling very nostalgic so you know that's, that's that's what's going on right now, but um yeah. So yeah, we're about done here. Eh, we just wanted to do like an older video where we're just bantering like the good old days. You know, just see how this works because this is the computer. Like a lot of you guys have uh, basically seen us, you know, seen us with the most. So it'd be so it just felt right to just do you know. Do what we used to do. Yeah. Um, 
And with that said, we're going to still do videos. It's just going to be very limited. And we want you all to know that. And we're still going to try and push this little, push this little, uh, push our little proud potato of ours to the limit. But you guys gotta understand, we won't be at our full capacity, so that's another thing you gotta really understand. But, um, you know, check out our other videos, you know, of content that we do. You know, check out the website, too. You know, you guys will probably see some things you like, or you're gonna be like, oh my god, what the, f what even is all this? But we'll see you guys later. Peace. And we know this isn't really truly ideal. But this is temporary. So, you know. Peace.